winning. No gunshots, but they getting low, 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 getting... Hey, what's up, you guys? Craft Farms here, and welcome back to another video. Today, we're going to be doing just a quick little update on my map here. Um, just going to show you guys a couple things that I've done, and then we're going to work on fixing a couple of roads uh, and some section lines and stuff. So, let's get at it. So, I got one of two medium farms in. Um, I accidentally labeled the folder for this as Eastern uh, Middle Farm medium farm I need to change that to Western um, I was backwards on my thinking so I need to change that and change some indexes and stuff but there's going to be one more medium farm and then there will be a farm because the other medium farm is right in this area here somewhere I believe I think right yeah because this this runs alongside of the road is what it is. So the other one is back in this area somewhere. And that one might be maybe a little bit smaller than this one or a little bit bigger. I might have more storage for, equip, uh, for grain on that one. We'll see. Uh, and then there's going to be two large farms. One is going to be fairly decent sized. Um, the one is going to be where the yard is up over here and then its bin site is back over here so there will be a little section line following all the way over to here and then also an entrance here and then um, there will be a road down somewhere in this area I'm gonna have a really really big farm you know like one where when you're farming all of the land that's the farm that you'll have you know it'll have a big grain complex Maybe even two of them. I'll have a whole bunch of bins, a whole bunch of shops, and whatnot. And then I am going to throw a little farm in somewhere um, to have, like... Ooh, I need a couple more farms, though. Okay, so, I'm trying to think. Maybe, like, right here, this will be the beef farm. Because, yeah, I forgot that I'm putting beef and pigs on here. So, this will be the beef and pig farm here. And then, okay, wait, 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 wait. Okay, so this this farm here is going to be the beef and pig farm. And then this one will be the dairy farm. And then I'm going to put like a viable grain complex there. And then the big farm there. Because I, I totally spaced out that I'm putting animals on here. So that's going to be in the next map, in the next piece here. Um, but yeah, so let's look over, I did a couple of things over here. Um, if you remember, we finished the river, I checked it out in game, everything works perfectly, uh, the way that it is, it looks awesome, so we're all set to go with that. Um, I deleted all those rock piles that I had before, and I just went and put this ground up a little bit and put cobblestone on it. Uh, for now, I am going to change this texture, obviously, because it looks ridiculous for rock pile but it works for now I just need to sit and find a good image for it and then we fixed this field a little bit and whatnot uh, this thing I'm gonna throw some grass on as well but um so then if we go over here this goes to the medium farm uh, so I think what I'm just going to do is just change this to medium farm, and then this next farm will be like, you know, animal farm, dairy farm, large farm, that kind of stuff. But anyway, so we got the mailbox, we got a nice long driveway. Uh, if we come down here, there is another field entrance, I threw another one in on this end. Um, but we come in, we got trees surrounding the property again. Um, that is a pretty common thing around here is you see a lot of people where they have trees around their property they may not be this way exactly but I could like it this way so that's all that matters really uh, we got another house that I took off of Goldcrest Valley I like the house models 
uh, that they have on the 17 map. They are pretty nice. Um, so I am going to use quite a few of them. And it's not like it's hard to get these things down into 15. Uh, I just realized I need to remove some more grass underneath of this thing. Um, but yeah, they're not difficult to put into 15. You just export the model to Blender and apply all the old textures and you're ready to rock and roll. But then if we go over here into the yard, uh, we got a little repair shop here. This is kind of the workshop. This is going to have the damage trigger for this farm. Or no, never mind. I'm not doing that for individual farms. I forgot about that. But this is going to be the workshop. I am going to throw some tools and stuff in here. Some more stuff, uh, possibly. We'll see. Those aren't major right now. But then we got one shop here. Uh, this is a 56 by 96 shed. And then, like I said, this is the workshop. Uh, we have eight bins here total. We have five of the Meridian Hopper bins. And then three of the Meridian Max 14 bins. Uh, so very nice setup here as well. They're kind of in the center of the yard. Um, got the fuel tanks here. We got four tanks at this farm. Then we got kind of like a truck shop. <coughs> and then we got a nice big storage shop. So plenty of storage in here for anything that we need. Uh, we'll be able to fit the auger in there. As long as this, yeah, this is plenty tall. So we'll be able to get the auger into that one, which will be nice. Um, yeah, kind of a bit larger, but uh, these three buildings all match. This one doesn't because this one, the textures were baked this way. So the, those ones are a little bit more difficult to change. Uh, especially because it's all one piece and whatnot. Uh, I think I did try applying it, but did not quite work that well. I looked insane and whatnot. So, um, but yeah. So, like I said, I'm sure you guys are probably gonna get sick of me working on this kind of stuff. You know, doing these short little videos, kind of, but. As I said, it's what uh, what I got right now. It's better than no video. So what I'm gonna what I'm basically doing is just bringing the grass over a little more uh, over top of the gravel. Um, just to kind of, you know, bring it down a little bit more and whatnot. Um, just kind of make it seem more like a actual section line. You know, not that well maintained and all that fun stuff. So that's what I'm going to work on now. Um, I'm not going to sit and make a huge long video of just doing that, but that is what I'm going to do. I'm going to do it on all these section lines and, um, I'm going to get some, I'm going to go find some guardrail objects as well for the, uh, around that river and get those thrown in and throw up some more grass on it and, uh, whatnot. So... Just get it looking, get it looking good. Uh, get it to where it needs to be and whatnot. So, but that's gonna do it for this video, guys. I know, just a little short one, little update video. Uh, the next video we'll do some more, and the next farm I will do more video. I will do video of me putting it in because I'm gonna be adding in all the scripting for the pigs and the beef. So we'll be messing around with that. Uh, over the course of probably two videos at least, because uh, it'll take a little while to get everything added and tested and figured out and all that stuff. But that's going to do it for this video. Um, if you enjoyed the video, be sure to hit that thumbs up button. 
If you're new to the channel, welcome to the channel. Be sure to subscribe if you like what you see. Be sure to turn on the post notifications to be notified every time I upload a new video. Be sure to check out down below in the description for my PC specs, my upload schedule, as well as links to all my social medias and some other cool YouTube channels that are worth taking a look at. Thanks for watching, you guys, and as always, we'll see you tomorrow.